Last lesson, we looked at how to make the lead flash with a sine wave. We called it lead waves. Well, this lesson, we're going to change it a little bit. Instead of it being such a smooth curve, we're going to funk it up. We're going to make it change and uh, flicker at different times, but with a little bit of a sine wave built in. So lesson six, do the funk shift. A sine wave is just too smooth. So let's funk it up and shift that lead off the spectrum. To do that isn't so difficult. All we need is another counter and we're going to adjust our duty value so that it changes our sine value. And what I mean is if we have a look at the sine value in our preset tab of the lookup tool, you'll see that it goes from about 127 up to 255, down to zero and back up to 127. And what you can think about this is it reaches maximum brightness and then drops back off. But if we shift this sine wave up off the grid, then it will come up to 255 and then it would drop down to zero. It would come up to maybe 50, back down to zero. Then it would jump up the top here and it would come down and it would do the bottom part of the sine wave. And so by doing that, we actually split the sine wave into two different sections. Now we could move it up a full 127 and uh, essentially we'd have the top half of the sine wave down here and the bottom half of the sine wave all the way up here. And we can do that with a counter tool. So let's do that. We've got it placed after the duty cycle. We'll put it in here. Now we're adjusting the duty value. So on our increment tab, we need to select duty and it doesn't matter about the initial value. The increment, we're going to make it 127. Do that again, 127. And the maximum value is 255, but we're also going to have this enable reset, enable rollover. And that means any value that comes in, say it's the value zero, will then be the number 127. Or it's the value 50, it would be 50 plus 127, which is 177. If it was 100, it would be 227. If it was 150, it would get to 277, which actually goes past this value, and so it would make it the number 22. Um, so it would be 277 minus 255 is 22. So uh, so that's how it's going to work. Uh, it's as easy as that. We go back to the main tab. We can annotate it. GT. Um, and then we'll say plus 127 in here. We'll hook that back up to the motor tool as it was before. We'll adjust the label and we're calling it do the funk shift. So let's program. Okay, so we're calling that the funk shift. Now you can play around with different values there. It looks a little bit strange how it's working, but uh, it's increasing brightness, dropping, decreasing brightness, and doing different things, but uh, certainly have a bit of a play around with that value. I'll just show you one more. Um, say we added on 50, and we'll program that. Okay, so you can see it's got a little bit of a jump effect happening. So that's nice. Next lesson, we'll be looking at how to make that happen on all three LEDs, mixing it up a little bit. Thanks for watching.